Now, new information on that police-involved shooting in Portsmouth. Tell your side has learned more about the gunfire during the incident between a Chesapeake officer and the man he was trying to serve an outstanding warrant to. But a lot of questions remain unanswered about the incident and the suspect. Ten of your side's Andy Fox has the latest on the investigation. A source confirms this hole in this unmarked Chesapeake police cruiser was fired by a Chesapeake police officer who was trying to serve a fugitive warrant against Michael Lee Davis Smith on charges from Maryland. That is no surprise to Smith's mother, Donna Hampton. There's a bullet hole in the window. I said, okay, well, I know my son didn't do it because he does not have a gun. So why was he shot? Nobody won't give me an answer. No information has been given on what led the police officer to shoot into the police cruiser. Hampton says she was told by a Portsmouth police sergeant the Chesapeake officer has refused to give a statement. The only thing I was told that he will not give a statement about what happened and why he shot my son without his attorney. So he still has not given a statement as of yet. That attorney will likely be Michael Improvento, who told us on the phone, this is not unusual. I always advise my clients against talking to detectives. They should only give statements to internal affairs. These statements are protected and can't be used externally. Improvento would say nothing more about the shooting. I said, well, why? I said, if he didn't do anything wrong, why won't he give a statement? He said, because he has that right not to. Smith's mother says she tried to see her son at Centera Norfolk General, but was denied because he remains in police custody while getting medical treatment. Yeah, and let me tell you this, it has been very frustrating trying to get information from the Portsmouth and Chesapeake Police. No comment from either departments coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6. What about these fugitive warrants? I asked Smith's mother about that. I'll have that part of the story tonight at 6. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox.